Hello and welcome to a Squarespace Tutorial Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a nice testimonial slider in order to showcase some reviews or testimonials on your website without taking up too much room on the page. Uh, this is looks good on desktop as well as mobile. Uh, this does require a little bit of customization in the CSS and JavaScript department but nothing too fancy that we can't get together and get through. So in order to make this thing happen in a clean fashion so that you can flick it with your finger or your thumb if you're on mobile or up with the mouse, is we're going to be using a library called uh, Flickety. So this is Flickety. It's a touch responsive flickable carousels which can be used for images or in our case we're going to use it for text. Now, you can download these packages and upload them that way. However, I recommend just using the CDN. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to copy this here and you're actually going to want to insert this into the header of the page that you're putting the uh, slider on. So in this case, I'm just doing it on this blank page here and in under advanced you're just going to go ahead and paste that into here so again you're going to take this style sheet the css sheet that's hosted on their cdn and you're going to go ahead and inject that here now what you're also going to do is you're going to inject this javascript as well now to do the javascript i suggest putting it in the footer which we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to advanced and we're going to go to code injection and we're going to insert it into the footer and this will help increase the load speed up the load time um, unfortunately it's going to be loading on all pages uh, but that's the best we can do for now so once you have those two things into play now what you can do is actually go ahead and insert the HTML and the text for your testimonials. So when you go to edit the site, uh, the slider will show all of it at once, which is kind of nice to be able to see everything. And then this is going to be the code here. So if we go back to Flickety, they do show you a little bit here when you're getting started to that you want to have a, a div that's a main carousel, the class of main carousel. And then these are the individual slides or carousel cell as they call it here. Uh, so as you can see here, we've got div carousel and then in this case, uh, this data right here is saying that it's going to wrap around, uh, which in our case means this right here so it, it goes all the way around you go to five and then you go back to one whereas otherwise you would only be able to go all the way up to five and you have to come back so uh, we've got the class of carousel and then we've got that saying wrap around true and then we have the carousel cells and then this is where you're gonna put your text I created a paragraph for that as well so that way you then you can also add a class and some styling there if you would like. You could even add a heading and then a paragraph. Uh, so go ahead and add all of that in there. And then uh, what you want to do is do this in a code block uh, and a, make sure it's marked as HTML and that the display source is unchecked. And you can go ahead and apply that. And so in this particular case, I've just got one code block on the page and then until you add some CSS it'll just look like this so we're gonna go ahead and save that and then what you're gonna to want to do is go to design custom CSS and then this is where some of your customizations come in to uh, customize how wide this is so you can see here if I drop this down to 60 you can see that changes that there so that it's a different width. Sometimes you have to reload 
So as you can see, the, the width controls how wide the cell is. And sometimes you will have to re uh, kind of adjust things as you say save and then uh, maybe just pop this thing out and then that'll kind of re refresh it so it's the right height there. What you can do is you can look at uh, Flickety's demos here and then you can actually go ahead and say edit this demo on CodePen and then uh, what that'll do is it'll show you the HTML and then it'll show you the CSS that was used to create this particular demo here and you can kind of play with that if you want to do something a little bit different but in our case we're using this for testimonials I personally like it at about 80 percent and then uh, margin right of 30 percent and then we're gonna have to save this to kind of re fresh it there that way you still see a little bit on each side and then something else you'll notice in the CSS that I have here I've got text align center border, border radius is not actually really necessary for this particular one height is 200 pixels in this case you could say nothing here and it'll just take whatever the tallest cell is and make it make all the cells that tall um, and then margin right 30 that's just how much space is between here and here um, and then what I've done is I've positioned the arrows on the outer edge of the box itself so that's this piece of code here that says the previous next button uh, is going to be left th negative 30 pixels and that drags it over here and then the background is transparent otherwise they have some that is like a circle and then it, I also have it so that uh, well this is actually doesn't apply so I can remove this if you only wanted to be able to go one two three and finish there you could use this piece of code here which would remove this arrow here so that they cannot click any further there uh, so hopefully that kind of makes sense I will leave a link below with all the bits of code that I used in this particular testimonial page or testimonial slider uh, and then make sure you just save all your CSS and uh, there you have it and as you can see it looks good on mobile as well and it'll be nice and touch friendly as well um, I believe that's pretty much all I can think of uh, regarding the, the testimonial slider on Squarespace this is probably the fastest easiest way to add a testimonial slider or as you can see I think it looks really good with images uh, they have some really cool features I mean look at this this looks so cool uh, and you can do something similar to this in your Squarespace website so as you can see there's a lot that you can do with Flickety and it's got a lot of options so I suggest that you take a look through the documentation you can even see how others are using it um, I mean South by Southwest is using it and gadget uh, custom ink um, a Shopify theme um, quite a few different places are using that uh, and then you can see if you go to their style page this will really help you kind of dial in see what you're wanting to get out of the slider and you can kind of use this code as needed to uh, you know get the customization that you want for your slider let me know if you have any questions at all in regards to this you could apply this to any website not just Squarespace but uh, that particular sequence is how you apply all of this to your Squarespace website be sure to give this video a like if you found this helpful or in in any way insightful uh, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in regards to Squarespace tutorials and website builder reviews. Until next time, peace.